get together this time. How about that? Alrighty, y'all. Try to get everything together and give y'all a chance to log in. For sex talk with Sharonda. Like I said, just want to give y'all a chance to, to log in. Hey, LaQuisha George, how you doing today? Let's see. All right, I got Dawn. Let's see who else I got. It's a few more y'all that's not showing up. All right, Shedra Cortez, AKA Sebastian. I see you. All right, Mr. Mac, James. What's up, Yetta? How you doing, Yetta? Girl, you was looking real pretty this weekend. Let's see. Lamika. Latasha. All right. Y'all go ahead. I had a title on the other one, but um, it said we had a low connection. So, not sure what that's about. Hopefully, this one is um, a little better for you all. If you can see me and you can hear me clearly and you got a good connection, just hit those like buttons. Just so I can know that we good and we on the same page so we can get started and I can get off up into this. So just let me know if everything is good on your end so we can get started. And we'll just give everybody else a chance to kind of fall in when they um when they get ready. Okay. So I see the little hearts and stuff. Cool, 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 cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, well. It is Monday and it is time for Sex Talk with Sharonda. And today we are going to be talking about talking dirty. Um, we're going to be talking about the sounds of sex. And a lot of times, and I, you know, I really want to get comfortable with this because nobody wants to have sex. For I don't, I don't care how shy a person is and, um, and how they may not like to talk. Or they're not like really vocal in their everyday life. When it comes down to getting in the bed with them and having sex with them, nobody wants to have sex with a silent partner. When you're having sex with somebody, you want some type of feedback, okay? And this is the thing. All feedback is not going to be the same. And that's something that we got to understand. All feedback is not going to be the same. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it has to do with what a person is comfortable with, okay? Um, sometimes you're dealing with people and they say, well, I don't like to talk during sex because I sound silly or I don't like the way I sound or it just sound, you know, corny or I don't, you know, some people say, well, I don't watch porn because I don't like all that noise and all that hollering. But believe it or not, a lot of people watch porn and it ain't necessarily for... The visual, a lot of people watch porn because they like to hear the sounds, okay? And the sounds can go from anything from gas, um, from whales, from um, shit, panting, just <sighs> whereas you're not actually saying anything, but it's just sounds, moans, groans, grunts. You don't want to have sex with somebody and you hear absolutely nothing. If you're having sex with somebody and you're getting no feedback, something wrong. You you might as well be laying up there and having sex with a corpse. Or, or one of them sex dolls that don't talk. Or something like that. And, and shit, even now, the sex dolls that they're making have voices. For real. So, this is about basically being vocal when you're having sex. And... Being able to talk dirty and say, ooh, I like it when you do this. Communicate during sex. Um, to, to let a person know, keep doing that, you know, harder, deeper. You know, whatever it is that you like to say. Let's see. Um, I just love to hear the sounds. That That's what turns me on. And that is so true because let me. I'm going to speak from a woman's perspective and then I'm going to speak from the perspective of what men have told me, okay? I can only speak from a woman's perspective because I'm a woman. I like to hear you enjoying this pussy. I want to know that you're enjoying it. 
Because if you enjoying it, then that makes me want to do what? Go harder. It's, it's natural. The feedback, the energy, it makes the person want to do more. But if you just laying there, because some men have this where they feel like they can't express nothing during sex because then that's going to make them not be masculine or, or not be hard or not be whatever the hell they got going on in their mind. So they just want to lay there. No, don't just lay there. Let her know that you're enjoying her body. Let her know, yeah, you really putting that pussy on me right now. Let her know these things because it only motivates her to want to do more. But if she get up there giving her all and you just laying there, then damn, what's her motivation? And vice versa. If he giving it your, if he giving you his all, okay, and you are enjoying it, don't just lay there and act like you're not enjoying it. If you enjoying it and that's all you can come up in your mind to say, just let them know, I'm really enjoying this. Say it during sex. I'm really enjoying you right now. Because you might not be the type of person that talk dirty and, and say some shit like, oh, this dick real good. You know, but some women like that, like me, I'm vocal. I don't have a problem with being vocal. I don't have a problem with being vulgar because that's just what I do. So if the dick good, I'm going to let you know the dick good. If I want you to dig in this pussy, I'm going to let you know, come on, dig in this pussy. I'm going to, whatever come up in my mind, I'm going to say it. Even if the Lord come in my mind, oh God, I'm going to call him too. It, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Some people just curse shit. Fuck, damn. Shit. You know, some people actually laugh during sex and laugh during orgasms. Not that they're laughing at the person, but that's their only reaction. That That's just their reaction, okay? So I want to let you know that there's nothing wrong with talking dirty. There's nothing wrong with making sounds during sex. That is what great sex is all about. Having a connection outside of your regular everyday life. Meaning that in the bedroom, you got that connection. And your sounds that you're making is your form of communicating with each other when you're having sex. Okay? Some people, um, they are very shy. I don't care how shy you are in your everyday life. When you get in the bedroom, you're going to have to open up. You're going to have to do something. Or you're basically setting yourself up to have some boring sex. And nobody want to lay up with somebody and it's boring. You won't get a call back. You won't. I don't give a fuck how tight the pussy is. You know, a lot of times people think that good sex is all about dick size and how tight you are and all of that kind of stuff. No, good sex is about the way you connect and vibe with each other and how you know how to enjoy the moment and enjoy each other's bodies and take your bodies to all different types of levels. That's what good sex is about. Good sex is not, you know... Good sex ain't got nothing to do with love. You know, yeah, it's good when you got a emotional connection. I feel like you can go into a deeper, um, a, a deeper type of sex and a deeper connection. But it have been times where you done fucked somebody and it was good and you ain't gave a fuck about them. The dick was just good. Or it done been a time where you done fucked a woman and it was good and the pussy was just good. She knew how to throw it on you. She wasn't ashamed. She wasn't scared. She wasn't scared to open up. She wasn't scared to switch positions. She wasn't scared to take control. So that's what made the sex good. And it ain't had nothing to do with how you felt about it. It was about her performance. And that's strictly what it was about, performance. Um, This weekend, well, last week, the latter part of the week, I actually had a, a customer to come in. And she was um, very open to trying something new. She expressed that she was very shy. Um, and I want to talk about some different products that if you are shy that you can use. And her thing was she wanted to give her husband oral sex, but she just felt some type of way about him watching her do it. Okay. So if that is you, if you have a desire to want to please your spouse, but you feel uncomfortable with somebody just kind of looking at you or gazing at you and watching you. And, and eventually, you're going to break out of it. You know, you're going to get to the point where you become comfortable. But in the beginning, if that is an issue for you, one of the things that I talked to her about was the blindfold, okay? So if you want to give him oral and you're not really comfortable with him watching you suck his dick, put a blindfold on him. 
That way that you can be comfortable enough to be able to perform the way you want to perform and that he can still enjoy it and receive it, okay? And then some people just like the blindfolds because you're able to tap into a, another uh, sense because if you take one sense away, the other sense becomes stronger. So if I take the sight away, then the sense of feeling becomes stronger. So that's another reason that people, you know, get blindfolds and blindfolding partner. Mm -hmm. If the issue is with her, the issue was him looking at her, the issue was the way it tastes. If you have a problem with the way the cum tastes or, you know, dick got a taste to it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's a dick that ain't just fresh out the tub and they natural body pheromones have kicked in and it just sweated a little bit, then the dick could possibly have a taste. And if you don't like the way the dick tastes and you got, you can only suck a dick that's soapy, out the shower, tub, fresh, you know, and you don't like the way dick tastes, then get you some Rouse's flavored lubricant. And what that's gonna do is mask the taste of the dick, okay? And I ain't talking about no sweaty, funky dick. Cause you know, some of these men, I, I see them, I remember when we used to do the after hours. I, I would see them on Friday and on Saturday they had the same fucking thing on. And I'm pretty sure on Thursday, if you had seen them, they might have had it on water again on Sunday. I ain't talking about sucking them kind of dicks. Them, them trapping dicks. Them dicks just trap all day, all night, and they don't wash their dick. And I know them dicks be sour and musty. This ain't gonna do nothing for them kind of dicks. The only thing that's gonna help a dick like that is some fucking water, okay? He got to put that body in some fucking water and clean it up. But, you know, everybody ain't trained and don't know that you don't go days and days and days and days without touching the water. So if them the kind of dick you got, funky dick like that, then the only thing that's going to help that dick is some water. All right? Another thing, and this has nothing to do with the customer I was talking about. This is just a new product that I think is absolutely amazing. And it takes oral sex to another level. Right here, this is the Surrender. And as you can see, it is an oral sex vibrator. And I'm going to tell you. A long time ago, all we had was the tongue dinger. The tongue dinger, you take it, put it on your tongue, stick your tongue out, slide it on like a rubber band, turn it on, and it vibrates at one speed. I'm going to tell you why I like the surrender. So the surrender has five different functions, meaning it has the... Then it has the... So that means it has all of these different functions, right? So you got this on your jaw, right? Because it's just like a little clinch. And you, you can press the button on the outside to change it up. So that means if you hit that head and you suck in that dick, you ain't got to pull it out to change the settings. All you got to do is press the button on the outside and the setting change right there, giving a whole nother different type of experience, okay? Now, a lot of times people think the surrender is only for a woman. Anybody can use the surrender, okay? Another thing with the surrender, you charge it up with a USB plug, okay? So that means that um, it can connect to, you know, your computer and charge up. It, You know, it has a plug that goes into the wall, but you can use a USB to charge this bad boy up too. So, you know, that's just technology. Where we going in with these products, like, Products is going to a whole nother level. Technology is making sex so much fun. It is bringing so many different things um, to the bedroom. Another good thing about Surrender is it's 100% silicone. So if you have a latex allergy, because some people are allergic to latex, if it was a latex toy, you wouldn't be able to use it. But because this is 100% silicone, this toy is you um, is is made for anybody to use. And the, the benefit of 100% silicone is the surrender does not have pores. That means that no bacteria can get into this toy, get trapped in it, and grow in the toy. It's 100% silicone. Silicone does not have pores. So that is another good thing because with some products, because of the material it's made out of, it has pores, meaning that bacteria can get in it, bacteria can grow. Nobody wants to deal with a toy that has pores in it that you got to be putting in your mouth. Because you don't want to uh, contaminate yourself or make yourself sick. So that's one of the good things about the surrender. Um, the surrender is $65. If those of you, and it is on the website, www.thepppgstore.com. And I'm going to actually go on there and uh, find the actual link to the surrender and upload it on here at some point once I finish this video. 
And yes, we do have them in stock. Surrender is waterproof. So if you want to suck that dick in the shower and you want to get wet, get the Surrender wet, it's okay. Because the Surrender is 100% waterproof. Um, switches on real easy. The runtime for this toy is like an hour. So that means I don't know too many bitches that just suck dick for no hour straight. But if you suck dick for an hour straight or you sucking multiple dicks at one time, because some of y'all be, you know, into the swinging and all of that kind of stuff, you know, you got a, a run time to be able to suck a whole bunch of dicks at one time if that's what you do, okay? To turn it on, you just hold the button for three seconds and it's going to turn on. To turn it off, you press the button again, hold it down for three seconds, and it turns off, okay? So being that we are talking about mouth toys, let me see that right there so y'all can see it. We're going to talk about gags because a lot of times people think, that gags are to make you shut the fuck up. And that's not true. The purpose of gags is not to make you shut up, okay? Gags are designed to give you something to bite up against, to brace yourself. That's just like if, if you can fuck really, really hard, you know, and he like really putting that dick down and it's kind of painful, but you like pain, so it kind of feel good. You can actually get this gag bite so that you can have something to clench your teeth up against to be able to endure the pain that you're receiving. Or if you're one of those people that like to get spanked and whipped and flogged, that's what this is for. It's like a little gag bite to be able to clench your teeth up against it, it so that you know you can kind of endure the the pain that you that you're receiving. So um, open mouth gag bites. These are not designed to have the mouth open for the dick to go through it. Cause see, people come in my store and they have misconceptions of what toys are for. Again, this is just nothing but a gag bite. The hole in it ain't even big enough for your dick to go through it. So it's not designed for you to be able to get head through the gag ball. It's not to force somebody to suck your dick. That's not what the gag ball is for. That's not what the gag bite is for. That's not what the open mouth gag is for, okay? You got to know these things when you decide that you want to purchase certain stuff. If you enjoy these videos and you want to learn more and you want to take your sex life to another level, go online to the ppgstore.com and get your copy of Cyber Sex I Ship Nationwide. Y'all, I'm not just saying this because it's my book, but I am saying this because this is my book. But my book got a lot of good information in it. Like, for real, for real. A lot of times people are big on getting stuff for free because I come online Mondays and Wednesdays for free and you don't have to pay for this because it's Facebook. But it, it's really good to support the people that are giving you all of this good information. So if you want to support me, go online to my website, www.thepppgstore, and order your copy of Cyber Sex. You will not be disappointed. There are so many great chapters in this book. This book, um, I'm just going to talk about some different ones because a lot of times people are like, well, what's in it? Well, let me talk about what's in it. Got different chapters in it. Uh, chapter one, benefits of a healthy sex life. I don't know none of y'all that couldn't use that. Chapter two, honesty and communication. Chapter 3, Sexual Satisfaction. Just going through it because a lot of times people want to know what they're buying before they spend their money. Chapter 4, Monogamy in a Sexual World. Monogamy, that means just sex one-on-one. -on -one. That means y'all don't have an open relationship and y'all not sharing yourselves with each other. And because sometimes how how a difficult monogamy can be when you're in a sexual world. You know, we sex just around you all the time. And women are more promiscuous today than they used to be, you know. So that is challenging. Chapter 5, open relationships. Chapter 6, sexual abuse. There is a such thing as being abused sexually. Chapter 7, fetishes and BDSM. That's your bondage and, submiss bondage and submission that's your servant, master, all of that kind of stuff. Chapter 8, which is one of my favorite ones. How to, questions and answers. How to squirt. This is what's in there. How to suck a dick real good. Mm -hmm. How to deep throat. Mm -hmm. How to breathe in deep throat. How to have enjoyable anal sex. 
how to do a third, a, how to do a dirty 360. How to move on after a breakup or divorce. And that concludes cyber sex. So y'all, it's a lot of good information in there. You can go online to my website, www.thepppgstore.com and get your copy. It's only $16.99. That's pennies for the wealth of information that you're going to receive. Because let me tell you something about knowledge. Once you know it, you can't unknow it. So once, once I didn't taught you something that you didn't know, you can never repay me enough for it because now you can no one can ever take it from you. Once you squirt and you've never squirted before, it's no amount of money that can be given to me to replace that knowledge that you got. And I, I don't think sometimes people understand how powerful and, and important knowledge is. Okay. So upcoming events. The bike ride was off the chain. Y'all ladies look so nice in your lime green shirts. Let me tell you something. I enjoyed it, y'all. We had a great, great, great time. And it's always after people see your event is when they start inboxing you like crazy. Like, when you doing it again? April 2019. An annual event. I don't do bike rides on no regular basis. That's not what type of business I'm in. But I thought it would be great to do a bike ride on the town with the ladies. For the ladies who may not be into coming to my ladies nights or they may not be into my paint parties that I throw the erotic paint parties or they may not be into my big birthday show and the big March Madness show. Well, this was still another event for the ladies who wanted to come out on the town and ride bikes. The next event that I have uh, coming up is the ladies night on May the 4th and then the V-Sting party for my ladies that are into sexual health and wellness. If you have not signed up for the v Steam party, you need to contact Flex Health and sign up now. You don't have to. Um, th this is how this is going. Because some people be like, well, do I have to get the v Steam to come to the fun party? No, you don't have to get the v Steam to come to the fun party. You can come to the fun party. However, I want to be able to support this nurse practitioner that can give you a lot of information on vaginal health. And I'm going to be there getting my pussy stained too. So I'm not asking you to do nothing that I ain't doing. I got my crew coming with me. The seats are limited. So, you know, you wait till the last minute to, to do the VC thing, you know, to sign up for it. It'll be just like how it was Friday when people were paying me for the bike ride and I was having to issue that money back to them and refund them their money back because they waited to the last minute and it sold out. Seats are limited for the uh, v steam because her clinic is only so big, okay? If this is something that you think your wife will enjoy or your girlfriend will enjoy or your sister, whoever, if you think that they would enjoy coming to a v steam party, people say, what is v steam? Vaginal steaming, okay? It is very safe. It is very natural. And I had the pleasure of speaking with Aurel Perkins and she even educated me on um, how the V-Steam is nothing new. This has been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. People in other countries, ancient civilizations have been V-Steaming forever and a day. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it because one thing about me, I am serious about sexual health and wellness, okay? And baby, anything to make this pussy better than what it is, I'm all for it. Of course I am. Um, so... If you are into the um, the sexual health and wellness side and you want to do the v theme, join me May the 6th. That's a Sunday. And we're going to be at Flex Health at 3 p.m. And we will be providing wine and um, cheese and crackers and all of that cute shit that people do. You know, the little light bites, the little cute stuff that people do when they put, you know, nicely classy events together. You know, put your little sundress on and come on out and enjoy yourself. You know, that's a, a great way to spend... Uh, a Sunday in May. Put your pretty little sundress on and come get your casting. Yes, 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 yes. What else do I have going on? I'm just trying to make sure I'm talking. May, um, at the end of May, we're still doing the Teen Summit. I'm about to start getting with the sponsors to find out exactly what you're going to be donating so that I can put you on the flyer because I want to make sure I acknowledge all of the businesses that's helping to make this event successful. Um, another thing, let me say this too, and I'm about to log off after this. First of all, PPG is a business, okay? People call all day, every day about parties. If you come in and you put your money on a party 
and you know that you are not going to have this party, one thing I don't do is run up behind people about dates. I just get your date rebooked, okay? If you don't pay your party off in time and then you stop answering the phone, just be a grown woman about it. If you ain't got the balance for the party, baby, just contact us and say, look, I'm having a hard time to get the balance for the party. I need to shut it down, okay? Because if you don't, then what happens is I shut that shit down for you. And I go ahead and let somebody else that got their money, you know, pay for it. Because when you came and you booked it, we discussed the way the payments go. And sometimes people feel some type of way when I book their party. Because you want to pay me for your party the day of your party. And the balance is due two weeks before your party. It's only business. So if I contact you about your balance that you hadn't paid off and you don't re reply via, via email because you put your email address on there, you don't reply via phone call or text, then I rebook the party. And I get some people up in here that really want to enjoy themselves and spend money because that's what this is about. The PPG store cannot open and function and stay afloat if people don't pay off their parties and if I don't hustle to get the dates rebooked. That's just common sense. But I know that a lot of y'all have never owned and operated a business before. So I do not charge it to your heart. I just charge it to your dumb ass head. Because can't no business stay afloat and, and bills get paid if people ain't doing what they supposed to do. I got staff that I got to pay and I have to make schedules. If I make a schedule and nobody's there to do your fun party because you ain't paid off, you're going to feel some type of way about that too. So, I think that kind of wraps it up, you know. At one point, I remember I used to charge late fees when people didn't pay. But, you know, I be trying to be fair because at the end of the day, I make my money when people shop in the store, you know. I ain't trying to make my money off of you not paying your party off on time. But sometimes folks put you in positions to where you got to put things in place to make them do what they're supposed to do, all right. So, again, I enjoyed y'all um, on this Monday with Sex Talk. With Sharonda, I look forward to talking to you all on Wednesday. When you're on that dick, bitch, I want you to make a lot of noise on it. Let them know it's real. Let them know it's good. Fellas, when you're up in that pussy and you tan that thing up, you need to let her know. Throw that ass back on me. You need to slap it a little bit. Shit, bend down, bite it a little bit. Do some shit like turn up in the bedroom. That's what this shit is all about. Teaching you how to take your sex life to the next level. I love what I do. I enjoy what I do. If you ever come here, I tell you, this is my ministry. This is what I do. And people get turned off when I say the word ministry. But ministry is nothing but to serve the people. And I serve the people by teaching them how to enhance themselves in the bedroom how to act accordingly when you on the dick you don't need to be acting like you um at bible study no you need to act like you on the dick like for real so you gotta balance this thing out i enjoy y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all on wednesday and i'm here at the ppg store call us 225-663-2982 if you're trying to get a date to book your party y'all the, the sum is pretty much booking up really really fast it's almost nothing left in July. June is booking up really fast. Two dates left in May. Pretty much right now, we're booking for August and September and the end of the year. Because the, the summer is really booked up. So if you got a date you're trying to get, you need to go ahead and pay that uh, deposit like as soon as possible. Because we do not hold dates. Just because I send you an invoice in your um into your email, if you didn't go online and book it right there, that did not mean I held the date for you. That just meant I sent you an invoice to pay. And if you didn't pay it, then the date is still available. That's just business, y'all. So, y'all enjoy y'all Monday. See y'all on Wednesday. That concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda.